everyone in this video session i will be guiding you on how to configure a pin of a port of atmega 32 chip and using that thing to create different patterns from your knowledge so in this video you can get a clear idea on how to configure each pins of a port in atmega 32 chip as you all know this is a source code which I wrote using Atmel Studio 7.0 in order to write in a Atmega32 chip. In this source code, here you can clearly see I am setting all the pins of the port B as output pins. So as you all know, 0xff when it is converted to binary, it will turn as 0B and 8 ones so ff is converted as 8 ones so this indicates you that each one or each digit after the letter b is configuring a pin of the port v so in this while loop you can see we have configured the entire port b as 0xff which means 0b and 8 ones for this, the LED of the Atmega32 which is connected to the port B is lighted up and when this code executed, it is 0x00 which is simply 0B and 8 zeros. At that moment, the entire code, entire P, when this code executed, as you all know, it will set as 0B and 8 zeros. At that time of execution, all the pins in the port B is set to low voltage. So at this moment, you can see that the LED won't light up. So this is the basic core concept of today's video. So when this digit indicate 1, the LED will light up or else the pin will be set up as high voltage. And when it turns to 0, the pin will be set up into low voltage as you all know using this source code we are coding for an entire set of pins which is known as a port an atmega 32 chip contains four type of ports port a port b port c and port d in our previous video we configured the entire port b and obtained that toggling led circuit but in this video, we will configure each pin of the port B and create some patterns. When we look deeper into this code 0x00 which is written in hex, when we convert it into binary, you all can see it has 80. Similarly, the port B also has 8 pins. So at this moment, the code will set all the output pins of the port B into low voltage. So when this turns as 0xff, all the pins of the port B is now set to high voltage. As you all can clearly see that the each digit of the binary format of this code represent a single individual pin. So using this knowledge, now you would have an idea by changing the single digit of this binary format code, we can decide whether the pin is at high or low voltage. With the knowledge we acquired from the previous idea, now we shall look on to this sort of code. Here you can clearly see a pattern of 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 1. When we match this with the pins of that port, we can clearly see that the initial pin is set to low and the next pin is set to high and the next pin is set to low and so on. So this gives the basic idea by changing the digit at this code can create the changes in the output pin. So from this sort of an output to convert to this sort of an output we can use this code as 10101010 so this gives you a basic idea on how to, how this thing works 
So today we are going to create a famous pattern, the night shadow pattern. For this we have to think how that LED light bar works. It start uh, by lighting up two LEDs initially and move towards right and it will move again to the left and it will be continuing with the same pattern. So for this we can clearly identify that after one after the other code should be like initially the two initial buds should be lit and when the next code is being executed without the first bulb the bulb next to the second one I mean the third bulb should be lit and according to the same pattern at the third step of this code the first two LED should not be lit and the next two have to be lit and the others will remain at zero. So we can convert this into a series of code like this. So it is clear that the initial two LED will light up at the beginning and it will slowly move towards the right and again it will slowly move towards the left so these are the required sort of outputs in order to create the night rider pattern so what we have to do is we have to write a code in order to execute this type of mechanism so now let's look on how to write the code for this one this is the coding part of this uh, process in this you can see how we have used the pre-discussed pattern so first of all you have to set these preprocessors as we discussed in the previous videos the frequency of the CPU is set to 8 megahertz and we are using the AVR input output library and the utility delay library so first of all we're going to use ddrb so we're going to configure the pins of the port b so first of all we are setting the pins of port b as output pins now in a while loop with this this is an infinity while loop that we are using to execute the pattern in this pattern you can see initially I have set the seventh pin and the sixth pin to high voltage while all the other pins are set to low voltage with a 10 milliseconds of delay I have again set the seventh pin to low and the sixth pin and fifth pin to high and the other pins to low as before so like that uh, as we discussed in the previous session of this video I have slowly shifted the lighted up LED from the left to right and from this point onwards I am moving that pattern to right part so this will execute with a 10 millisecond of delay which is a reasonable amount of time in order to see this pattern clearly and visibly so you all don't worry the description will contain the link for this code so you all can use that code as reference and build your own code and uh, build your own pattern so this is how the code is structured so let's build the code now so I'll show you once again from the top to bottom nothing but uh, I am configuring which pin is set to high and which pin is set to low that's what I am doing and everything is compacted in a 
infinity while loop let's build the solution okay the code is now built successfully so this is our circuit board which I have set up previously in this you can see I am using the B port I have connected LEDs uh, from 1 to 8th pin which is like 0 to 7th pin for each pin I have connected a red color LED and all the LED pins are connected to a common ground so there is nothing much with the circuit as you all know before this is the simple setup of this circuit and what we have to do is we have to double click and in the program file we'll upload the hex file which we built up how to up upload the hex file and we have to find the hex file how to generate the hex files and everything is taught in the earlier video so those who don't know the, this uh, can check my earlier video on blinking LED and the description will contain the link for that blinking LED tutorial too so we are going to and we are going to press ok and write the code into the atmega32 chip after pressing ok we can test and stimulate the pattern so as you all saw in the initial part of this video we are getting a similar type of pattern so it is clear this is a easy way to configure the pins as we wish and to create infinity number of patterns on our own so i hope uh, this video is quite interesting and you learned a lot so hopefully uh, we'll meet with another video thank you